Hi, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Recently, I was trying to restore one, um, I think two uh, workflows that I created with Power Automate, and I was um, not sure how to do that actually because I had never done it. So after some research, I found out that it's a very easy way. And um, yeah, this video is to share this with you. So make sure that you like the video if you do so, that you uh, subscribe to the channel and also um, have fun watching the video. So as you can see, we are here in my uh, development environment and I have here a couple of workflows that I've been testing around um, lately. And um, if I delete one workflow, I then don't have an easy way from here to reactivate it, no? to make it uh, show up again. So how we can do that is I'm going to create a new instant cloud flow and I'm going to call it uh, restore flow demo. Click create. And as a next step, I want to list the workflows that are in my environment. So there is uh, an action called list flows as an admin. And usually it does not pop up at the top. So you need to scroll down a little bit. For me, it was somewhere at the bottom lately. Let's search that together. Or maybe it's now at the top. Or maybe it's not there at all. List flows. Let's see again. List flows as admin. There it is. So it's the second version. So make sure that you take the newest one since uh, they are supposed to work better. And uh, it might request for you to sign in first, but I, since I've already tested, uh, I've already done that. And uh, next, you will be able to select your environment. As you can see, I have that one, so I'm going to select that one as well. And in the show advanced options, you have the option, which is very important. Um, Oh yeah, first of all, you can also uh, do a top count. No, we can say, give me only the, the latest 10 or so on and so forth. Uh, expand suspension info, I don't know what that is. Let's see, yes, no. Anyways, but the important uh, option is that to include soft deleted flows. So this will include the, the workflows that you have deleted from the list of your flows. And keep in mind that um, this is keeping uh, them for 21 days. So after you have deleted them, you have 21 days to restore them. So I will go, I'm going to go and put this to yes. And um, now if we test this, I'm going to save it first. And I'm going to click test, manually test. Continue and run flow. Okay, so it runs successfully. And if we take a look here, we can see our workflows. So I have here planner workflow, um, refresh Power BI, and the important uh, attributes here to notice are the name. Actually, I thought it would be the ID, but the name is where the flow ID is saved. Um, that's the one important one. And also the state, because the state uh, says if it is started, deleted, or uh, suspended, I think, or stopped, I don't know how it's called. Uh, so if I search here with Control F after state, I have 16 workflows, and uh, these are started, started. Let's see, this one is, uh, so just saw one which is stopped. Yeah, so this one, for example, yeah, where did it go? This one is stopped, for example. Um, yeah, so that's where you uh, can see the state of the of the uh, workflow as well. And there is another one, which we are going to see in a second. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to open my flows in a new tab so that I don't uh, have to go back and forth into this uh, run again. And I'm going to delete one flow. Let's delete this one, send email. And I'm going to say delete. It says here, delete this flow, we'll remove it for all owners, blah, blah, blah. Important, please cancel any pending runs. Otherwise, some pending flows run with the typical information that we already know. So, gone you are. And now we don't have that flow anymore. It was called send an email or send email. So, if I go back to edit and click test again automatically and use the latest and recent trigger, 
it will run successfully again. And now if we see the raw outputs, I'm going to make sure you click inside of this uh, output and then, then do control F to find, uh, otherwise it will search the whole, whole browser. And um, now I'm going to search for a uh, uh, sent email. Is it that one? No, it was another one. This one, send email. And now the state is called uh, deleted. So that's the one we need. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to click edit and I am going to initialize a variable where I want to save that um, to save that ID, that name in this case. So initialize variable. And initial variable it will be a string and the variable will be called the flow. Um, let's call it name. It's actually ID, but let's call it name because it's also called name the attributes. Okay, so next I want to do a pass JSON. Uh, pass JSON. But first I need the run of that um, latest workflow. The, the, of the latest action. So I'll just go to the raw outputs again. I'm going to click inside of these outputs. I'm going to do a control A and then control C. Let me zoom in a little bit, maybe it's a bit small. Um, control C, I already did. And then I'm going to go here and I want the um, body from the uh, list flows as admin. And I'm going to use the schema, which I'm going to generate here from the sample that which I just copied. Click done, and then we have the schema for our JSON. Okay, so next I want to filter this uh, this JSON here so that it only um, re responds or I only get the flows that have been deleted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a filter array And I want the values, no, so the array is the values which is coming from the list flows admin. So from the list flows admin, I want to have uh, to filter the array. Let's edit this one. Come on, let me let's put in the expression I have here the item. So from that item, the its properties, its state. No, so we need the state uh, to filter on. So this needs to be equal to uh, deleted, I think it was. Let's uh, search again, deleted, yeah, deleted. So the state needs to be equal to deleted. So let's test this out. Save and test. So if we um, see now the outputs, we see that the JSON array, that the array that we retrieve, is uh, filtered and we have only the one which is in state deleted. So you need to keep in mind also that this will return multiple values. Uh, so if you have multiple deleted uh, workflows in, um, in, in a period of 21 days, this will return more than one items. So you might also need to uh, filter also on some other logic, maybe the display name of the workflow if you are sp uh, looking to restore like a specific one, or maybe the name if you know the uh, ID actually. So I'm not going to filter further because I only have this one item. And in general, I don't think of a scenario where you will like to automate it because I don't think that you will um, be deleting workflows and then need them to be uh, restored uh, often. This is just for saving them in case you accidentally deleted some or a user deleted a workflow. So just for you to know how it's done. So I'm going to leave it um, with this only uh, filter array because I'm not interested on the other ones which are running or stopped and so on and so forth. I only want to restore the deleted one, of course. Okay, so um, now that we have that, what I want to do next is I initialize this variable here because I want to save the name 
uh, into this variable mm? for me to be uh, it, it, for me it, it, I want it to be easier to be used. So I'm going to click on next step and since this is um, a table and as I said it will create multiple it might have multiple values Power Automate will create an apply to each. So to um, work with that I will do an append to string uh, variable and in my case it's only one run because it's only one item that has been returned but um, yeah you know. so let's search here for name and after we have uh, our parse JSON here but we want it from here so the flow name as I said this will create an apply to each but it should run only once Again, keep in mind that if you return, if you get more than one uh, deleted flows, you will have to um, filter it again. Otherwise, you will have here appended IDs. And that cannot be used uh, that easily um, in the next step that we are going to see now. If you have multiple, um, before I say that, let's search for the latest, uh, for the last um, action that we need. And that is called restore flow as admin, I think. So let's filter here in Power Automate. And let's see, restore deleted flow as admin. So it's going to require again the environment and now the flow. So the flow, it says here, show me which flow you want to restore. In my opinion, maybe I'm uh, overseeing something, but it doesn't make any sense that it lists here the flows that I already have, because these are the, these are the flows that are already there or maybe are, um, that are not deleted. No, so I would I would, would be helpful if I could see the deleted ones here from the last 21 days, and then all of this would not be necessary. But um, it just lists here the uh, ones that already are, are are working. So that's why we are going to click on uh, Enter Custom Value, and here I'm going to put the variable for my flow name. Why I did this is I just didn't want this to be in apply to each. But uh, now that I'm thinking about it, if you have multiple flows that you need to restore, then you just skip the initialize, initialize variable part. And um, this one here, as, it, as you see, the flow name from the array, um, it will create an apply to each and it will restore um, in each loop run the flows that have been deleted. So there you go, then you can restore multiple workflows at once. But this will restore then all the flows that you have deleted in the last 21 days. If you want to restore only a couple of them, then again, you need another filter array logic. Okay, so enough talking. Let's take a look uh, if this works. I'm going to save and test. My flow is running. And it says it runs successfully. Okay, let's see. So let's go back to my um, flows and all the flows. And we'll see here that the send email workflow is now back and it is in, um, a, in a stopped uh, state. Or I think it's suspended or something like that. Yeah, so it says here 19 seconds ago it was modified. It means that it was restored, and um, so we can we can then go inside and restore it. I mean, reactivate it and change it and so on and so forth. Yeah, so as you can see, it's very easy to restore your workflows uh, if they are in the last 21 days. Otherwise, they are gone forever, and um, bring them back to life. So I hope you liked it. If you did so, please make sure that you like the video, um, you that you subscribe to the channel, and also that you uh, keep watching my videos. It helps to grow the channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.